There's one nonprofit organization dedicated to providing empowerment services to help those in need. Their name is Quadify. Yep, their services are to enhance the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual strength of an individual, team, or business. Joining us now is the founder of Quadify and social worker, Professor Dr. Philip J. Roundtree. Welcome to the <laughs> to the Black Report. You know, we got to get all the titles in there. You deserve that. Oh, sure. no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, I owe a lot of money. Right? I, okay. I owe a lot of money. That's all we, they, we, all the people heard. We've been talking about getting those things canceled, so hopefully, uh, you know, our mm. president will move along with that mission, right? That's right. Right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, doctor, uh, before we jump into to what Quantify is all about, back in uh, 2018, you did a very powerful TEDx on um, Black Mental Health Matters. I even saw it online. Share with us what made you start advocating for mental health, especially in, a, in our black community. Uh, in short, it's, it's for me, right? I, I, I began advocating for mental health because I never, I, and I'm, I'm mindful of the words that I choose, right? Mm -hmm. I don't struggle with mental health issues, right? I, I, I'm i navigating it the best I can with what I have. And so with me experiencing depression and anxiety for a majority of my life, it was important for me to really start having this conversation openly. Um, and, it, and it came as a result of a young man here. I'll, I'll always be remiss if I didn't mention his name. His name is Emmanuel Sloan. Here in Philadelphia in 2016, he died by suicide by jumping in front of a train. And so at this point, I had my mental health under con quote unquote control. And I, I sat there and I was just thinking, what if he had heard me? What if he had known about my story? He was only 18, 19 years of age. And so from that moment, I, you know, it's that feeling when you feel convicted, right? That's what the, the church folks say. You feel, you feel that mm -hmm, conviction, mm -hmm. right? And so for me, it was important to say, all right, Phil, it's time. It's time to really get out here and tell your story. And so it, it started from there. Wow, I like that word navigate. Yeah. So word substitution is so important because there's a shift right there that you mm -hmm. feel aside from saying I struggle with navigate. I like that. And it's, and it's less judgment. Yeah. It yeah, really yeah, is. That's good, it's doctor. less judgment. That's good. Um, Dr. Roundtree, yeah. for those who haven't seen your TEDx, can you square the difference between sort of black mental health needs and the mental health needs of others? You know, what is the difference? What's the distinction between our unique set of needs and the needs of other folks when it comes to mental health? And so we, we all experience trauma just as human beings, right? But I think when we start talking about specifically about black and brown folk individuals of, of the diaspora, we start to see with some of the, some of the stories that you were referencing, Ku Klux Klan member, uh, children dressing up as Ku Klux Klan members, uh, teachers saying the N word, right? And so we're talking about this idea of historical trauma that impacts how we show up in our day to day, right? And so people say, oh, it happened 400 years ago. But no, we start to see the effects of what took place 400 years years ago in our day to day. We talk about present day traumas, right? We, we see uh, good brother Neely who, who was murdered, right? Who was murdered on, on the subway. He looks like me. Right. He looks like me. And so when we talk about this idea of, of trauma and how it impacts us, we see it so much. We recognize we're living in a, in a society where white supremacy, capitalism, patriarchy and imperialism, as Bell Hooks said, is rampant. And so this is something that we're navigating. And I'll say successfully. Mm. Right. Yes, we want to be thriving. But just our mere survival just shows how resilient we are as a, as a people. And so that differs from other groups. Not to say they don't have necessarily their own issues, but for me, I'm, I'm concerned about black liberation and black folk. There you go. There you go. And so, so are we. Yeah, exactly. So we, we have this trauma. And so let's take a look at the resources that your nonprofit quantify uh, as we lay that trauma uh, on top of the resources. How is it that you go about impacting uh, some of the some of the things that you just listed in, the, in that response? And and how did uh, quantify actually get started? And so as far as to take the latter first, quantify got started in 2016. Once I and I always attribute Meek Mill as the reason why mm. I'm out here speaking. I, I once Emmanuel Sloan had died, I reached out to his school and I didn't hear anything back. Right. And Meek Mill, this is when he was on 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 probation. He's been on he was on probation for a long time. And he was at that same exact school. And this shows you the power of social media. I went on there and said, hey, I reached out to this school and I didn't hear anything back. And so they reached out to me and they brought me in to have this conversation. And this started from there. And so I started Quantify some months later. 
Um, just because, again, I, I, I realize the the importance of having these types of conversations and offering services and resources to people to help them better navigate life. I always say, like, you know, we as a people, we survived, right? Mm-hmm. We're amazing at surviving, but it's our inherent right as human beings to thrive, right? And so for me, that looks like I'm a licensed clinical social worker. I'm a therapist, so I, I do individual therapy. I'm a professor, and so when I'm in these in the in the college setting in these classrooms, I'm making sure that I'm checking in on these students who have undertaken a huge responsibility that they, they might not even be aware of. And so for me, it's just always about being community driven. Even the space that I'm in now, and this is where I started my hashtag You Good Man Men's Group at Uncle Bobby's Coffees and Book here in Philadelphia, because I recognized that it was a lot of, a lot of brothers like me who just wanted to have healthy conversation with other brothers right because white supremacy and this idea of patriarchy and masculinity that often stops us from having this important dialogue with one another and so for me anytime i can i can be around community and and speak truth to power then that's what i'm gonna do for the for the the brothers and sisters that are watching right now can you talk to us a little bit about some of the the variety of services the empowerment services that quantify offers and so what specifically can people go to Quantify for? So I, I am a, a uh, individual therapist. I am a couples therapist. I am a, a speaker. So I speak at colleges and universities. I'll come to your cookout if you say, hey, Phil, <laughs> you ain't got to say Dr. Phil. You can just hit me up and say, Phil, hey, come have these conversations. Whether it's one person there, whether it's a thousand people there, you're going to always get that same energy from me. Um, I'm also a strength and conditioning coach, and we recognize this idea of 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 holistic wellness, right? And how everything is interrelated, and that's what Quantify is. It's the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual is, is spiritual wellness. And if there's a deficit in one, then there's more than likely to be a deficit in another. And so, anything that I can do with the services that I offer, um, I do. Absolutely. We before we let you go, we definitely want to stay connected. Follow you across social media. We have listed here your your dot net. Uh, give us that information so we can we can link up with you. OK, you can check out my website, uh, www.quantifyllc.merch. That must be a reason for me to say I sell merch as well. Uh, quantifyllc.net. You can check me out on, on Instagram. You can check me out on Twitter, on Facebook at Phil underscore Roundtree. My whole purpose is to get folk to think. I want you to not only think about your wellness, but I want you to think about everything that's taking place in this society and, and how as a, as a collective, as, as black folk, as folk of the diaspora, again, how can we be better for one another? Because it's all about community. Doc, Dr. Roundtree, before we let you go, I want to ask you for those wanting to take their mental health just a bit more seriously, or for folks that just want help mm-hmm. um, and just don't know where to start, what would you recommend as a first step? Yeah, leave us with a little nugget here. Uh, the first step is, is acknowledgement. Right. You don't need to have fancy words, depression, anxiety. If you say if you wake up or if you're going throughout your day and say, I don't feel right, I don't like how I'm feeling, then that's enough. Right. Then that's enough. And then what you want to do is if you if you can engage with somebody who has that knowledge, that wherewithal, do a Google search. Right. Or how to find a, a therapist. and We'll make sure we, we get a culturally competent therapist. Uh, then, then other things. Right. Like like taking care of yourself physically. Hey, step outside, go for a walk, take in some of the sun, right? These are things that help us with our wellness if we're not in that position to see a therapist immediately, right? These are just some some basic things that we can that we can do. I think we got a resident uh, um, um, counselor, a, a resident doctor, a resident trainer, a resident soul brother number one. Our soul you have been blessed as a soul. You got to come back, good doctor. Our soul base ain't gonna find a Dr. Phil no. like this Dr. Phil. No, Anywhere not. else, but right here on Fox Souls Black Report. Gosh, we thank amazing. you, brother. Thank you so much. We appreciate oh, thank you. you. Thanks thank for your time. I appreciate you for having yeah, me. Yeah, we definitely gonna have you back now, that's for sure. Oh, listen, I'm always here for the people. We love it. We love it. Take care.